This is CBS 47 Eyewitness News at 11 in high definition. He was always there to give you that backbone, that support, saying, hey, you can do this. A community stunned after a beloved educator at Clovis Unified is killed while he was jogging. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Alexander Balaki and developing tonight police on the hunt for the driver who struck and killed the vice principal at Fort Washington Elementary. The incident happened near Friant Road and Old Friant Road. The 911 call coming in around six this morning. The CHP says 43 year old Gavin Gladding was jogging when he was hit. He died at the hospital. The driver did not stop and is still on the loose. Our Dennis Valera joins us live at Fort Washington Elementary and Dennis, a makeshift memorial continues to grow tonight. Yeah, Alex, let's get you a closer look at that. You can see some flowers and here's a sign saying we will miss you, Mr. Gladding. Now I talked to a lot of people today about him. Not one bad thing to say. It's why nearly 10 years later, one student still holds him in the highest regard. David Brown first heard about the hit and run in church. When he heard his old teacher, Mr. Gladding, may have been the one hit, he immediately searched for the truth. I spent the rest of the morning trying to find a confirmation, to get that confirmation for myself. And when I got it, I was extremely saddened. Brown had Gavin Gladding during freshman earth science at Clovis West seven years ago. For Brown, Gladding's teachings went beyond science and stick with him today. You can go into his classroom during lunch or anytime after school and just talk to him and, and he'd always give you 100% advice. Um, he would just be there as a support system. Gladding's passing rippled through the community all day with families quickly starting a memorial. Anything to help? And offering to console Gladding's fellow educators. The Coleman brothers adored him and feel for his family. I mean, your dad goes out for a run and doesn't come back. Yeah. It's real sad. The suspect is still on the run. CHP says it was an early 2000s GMC Sierra pickup that hit him with damage on the right side as well as in the front. Please just turn yourself in. Um, the family needs to get closure. We need to get closure. Uh, the, the community needs to get closure. Now, if you know anything at all about this, please call Crime Stoppers at 498 STOP. Now, many other students of Gladding, they reached out to me online. You can see what they said when you find this story online at yourcentralvalley.com. Live here in North Fresno, Dennis Valera, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.